hello welcome back to my channel i don't usually do these kinds of narrations but i guess i have to <laughs> because my videos aren't really that well um what do you say interactive so i guess i'm doing this now <laughs> so here i am i am going to be wait we're gonna enter preparation in a bit and here we go yep <laughs> so for this for this uh video idea i wanted to like just draw whatever i want well basically that's the whole thing that i do on my channel but for this one i wanted to do it as a sketchbook series where i tried to fill out the last few pages of my sketchbook um on video and upload them online because why not um here i am i'm testing out acrylic markers i got them from online and so far so good i mean i haven't had any trouble with them yet but you know they're pretty pigmented by themselves and i like how they lay down and it's just really easy to use too so here i'm drawing a girl adding a little more detail with you know some pinks and reds all that fun stuff i think i got these markers for uh 600 no 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 maybe no four 400 to 600 pesos and they're actually really good i mean if you compare them to posca markers posca markers are expensive and this is a cheaper alternative than than posca and it's actually really nice i would say though um if you have your fan on while using these it'll dry up even quicker and that's the hard part yeah so while i was testing these out uh i had to shake them a bit because that's how markers are used you shake them before you you know use them and i gotta say they were a little hard to use i mean they were fun definitely but a little hard to use because of the very rough nib that it had and for these uh drawings i just kind of had fun i just wanted to draw you know a girl and another girl <laughs> for my sketchbook i for all i wanted to know i just wanted to make it very very colorful i wanted this spread to be colorful you'll see later the end product of this spread but uh it's actually really nice so here i am i'm adding some red over there filling it all out yeah i i usually finish sketchbooks in like what in like let's say four months or if i have less pages i'll finish it like quicker but for some reason it's like it's not it's not clicking with me this time and it's kind of frustrating honestly i just i just don't know what i should do so here i'm putting little frog hats and oh my god you know what this song this song <laughs> this song is the one that my favorite south park youtuber uh, uses in his videos and it's so funny because i discovered this song by accident because a few days ago i was like what song is he using can i use that song too i want to know i want to know the title and then i just came, i just came across this song <laughs> while i was searching for free music <laughs> so yeah it's just i didn't expect it he literally uses this song all the time i forgot his name though uh it's like blooms i think blooms or bloom i'm not sure b-l-o-o-m yeah bloom I, he's he's a really good youtuber he mostly does south park content but i know he's trying to shift from south park to like other things as well because you know you don't want to be boring for your um for your audience so you know i applaud the guy i usually like watch his videos in the morning for <laughs> for however long 
oh and this is my favorite part the clown drawing i cannot tell you guys enough how much i love this clown drawing that i made because at the time i was like i was having a vibe i was vibing and i was like ooh, i should draw a clown because that's how i feel like right now <laughs> so i searched up a photo of a clown online uh specifically on pinterest and just started well uh drawing him i changed the design just a little bit like just a tiny smidge but yeah oh uh for this clown drawing as well i used watercolor pen uh watercolor pencils excuse me and they're really good they're from favor castell i had i had another set of watercolor pencils but they just didn't work out but you know it's it's cool i guess i mean it's cool i mean if you have the money you can buy the other one the the one the derwent uh, derwent watercolors i think i posted a review of that already uh on my draw with me the other one so yeah uh draw with me the second one yeah so here i am just drawing a clown i really like i'm actually heavy-handed with um pencils and all that i usually like to put a lot of pressure onto my stuff because i like it opaque instead of it just being like very light uh i'm heavy-handed so yeah hmm i have nothing much to say i mean i did this sketchbook uh i did this spread for like what an hour around an hour and it was really fun to do because i got to discover new mediums and all that um i tried different techniques like layering the acrylic markers it was it was just very chill and it was fun to use i mean look at that clown right now if i could do like a close-up of it right now i would do it but <laughs> i can't uh, you'll see it in the end though you'll see it in the end uh since i'm here might as well just talk about my life i guess i mean i'm okay but i'm not my best you know what i mean there's always days where you're like oh you feel like you're on top of the world but then after a while it's kind of meh i guess i'm in a rut i guess i'm in like a art block rut I haven't really been like drawing drawing like actually like making finished pieces in a while i'm just kind of editing or my uh already pre-recorded videos and it's hard because you're like well what do you do and you're confused you, you don't know where your life is headed you know and you don't know what your purpose is and it's it's tough it's tough I'm trying to get out of it though. I'm trying to, you know, find my way back into life, find a way back to, you know, just having fun again. And I don't know, it's just re been really, really tough. Um, but I mean, my family is here now. Um, so, I mean, I don't know. <laughs> my family is here, but I don't really get to talk to them that often and even if i did talk to them i don't really see that much of a connection probably because i'm so used to their presence but i guess what i'm trying to say is is like i don't really have that much friends and it gets kind of lonely out here when you're all alone at home all the time doing nothing because you're you're a uh, quote-unquote loser in your mind i don't know it's just hard i'm trying to get out of it i'm trying to get better uh i'm not going to therapy <laughs> i mean i've never really went to therapy to begin with but i want to try but for my situation i don't think it's possible yeah i don't know i'm just really I don't know. but here i am i'm finishing up the pieces i really love this clown drawing i just can't tell you guys enough how much i love this part and 
I did his pose like that because I kind of him I, I kind of wanted him to be like a ventriloquist or like those those string puppet players and yeah and then I added a word I think there what was it uh huh huh what are you writing ah control there we go yeah i forgot i forgot what i wrote <laughs> but uh yeah i'm just adding the final touches for this piece <laughs> my commentary is just full of nonsense isn't it but you know what that's fine I mean, I'm still a growing channel, so I guess I'll find a way to make it more interesting next time. But, uh, yeah, I'm almost done. I'm just adding more of a uh, highlight or at least more colors. I think, yeah. Yeah, there we go. <laughs> and there's a frog. Yep, 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 yep. Seems just about right i'm gonna watch this back later and be like what's happening anyway here's the final see you got the girls there's the close-ups i really loved how this turned out especially the clown because look at that gorgeous all right so uh thank you so much for watching uh please sh be sure to check my ch ch channel um i don't know check out my other videos i guess i don't know <laughs> <laughs> I don't know how to end this. Okay, you know what? I'm I'm gonna stop. Okay, goodbye. Goodbye. Bye. Goodbye.